Hey, hello everybody. Today's date is July 18th, 2017, and my name is Ross Dublin. Stay with this video because this video is going to be pretty important, but it's not going to be very long. Uh, periodically throughout this video, I'm going to check to make sure that I'm still live. And, um, and I'm uh, also going to be eating here in a few minutes, so uh, that's another reason why the uh, video itself is not going to be that, that, that long. Hold on one second, please. Okay, fellow American citizens, what I incorporated within the title of this first uh, video, okay, is it, sorry about this, the, uh, tweet from my Twitter account, and what I did was I went into my Twitter account, and I paste posted some pasted uh, URL links, uh, a couple of them have to do with a blog that incorporates the David Larson uh, torture report. And, um, uh, let's see, uh, hold on a minute. Another one is a, uh, video, a YouTube video of David Larson being interviewed with James uh, Wahlberg. Uh, and some other information from, uh, Mike Fitchie-Bell. And, um, concerning his book. Now, since some activity has started uh, behind me, as soon as I start making a video, uh, I'm going to have to talk very soft. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm a target victim and activist concerning crimes of organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking. And as a result of being a victim of this crime, victims of this crime have to be very careful about what they state because what they state verbally or on paper uh, can be utilized against them criminally while they dress it up to make it appear that it's all happening through uh, legal protocols and policies and referring to the system. They'll dress it up to make it appear that what the, that, that the target statements stem from a, uh, symptomologies from mental uh, issues. So you can go to Google at any time and research how gang stalking criminal expeditions intentionally, with complete malice of forethought, will privately collude with doctors, including private practice doctors and doctors in county mental health, area neighborhood hospital psychiatric floors, uh, contract doctors through the state and county pertaining to uh, courts, in order to uh, uh, label the target as having an issue so they can discredit the truth the target is telling. Now, also within the tweet, okay, uh, is some snap screenshots, okay, that show you um, some blog information uh, that's online right now that was discovered by me typing in 5-22-11, uh, David Larson, James Lambert, his actual name is James Walbert. I was trying to look up a YouTube video of them two being interviewed through the Federal Jack YouTube channel. And, uh, no, I'm sorry. I actually found it by typing in the torture report, David Larson, gang stalking California target. And I in, and his actual documentation file is a PDF link. Uh, so you can copy the link of a PDF link. Uh, I can't figure out how to do it with my phone. Okay. Because it won't come up. Okay. Uh, uh, it comes up as a PDF that allows you to download it only. So what I did was I took a snap screenshot of it from my uh, screen from Google so you can see that it's there so you'll know what to type in it so you'll know what to type in at Google in order to bring it up so you can open it up to watch it I mean, I'm sorry to, to read it all right now I'm not tongue-tied I'm just I'm not tongue-tied I'm just pissed I'm pissed because of the shit that's going on around me every single day every last bit of it is nothing but felony criminal stalking okay uh, the courts allow every, and the police allow every single bit of it. Now, what did I entitle within the uh, title of this Periscope video outside of the Twitter link that I that you just get a piece of paper and a pen, write down the characters, type them in at your URL address bar to bring it up, bring everything up. Okay. There's a uh, one YouTube video and some other blog links and, and some snap screenshots. Trust me, you want to go in and you want to listen to that YouTube video. You want to look up the David Larson torture report, David Larson, California gang stalking target. Okay, 
you'll know what you know how to find everything just by going into the tweet. Now, what else did I though incorporate within the title of this uh, Periscope video? I, I stated, "Does anxiety and stress, okay, activate implants?" Gang stalking. I believe that's what I wrote. Something along those lines. Okay. Now, you may think to yourself, how could stress and anxiety activate a bio biological device that is put in the target's biological system? Okay. How could how could stress and anxiety okay, uh, activate a implant okay, uh, physiologically, neurologically, and biologically? Well, fellow American citizens, from what I'm understanding as of today, and I got to condense my statements. So my statements are basically nothing but a, con a, a condensed statement. The details and, and everything that runs these uh, implants, who's involved in, in uh, uh, using technology that interfaces with them, why it's being done, and so on and so forth, is all over the internet. But I'm making this video just, it's, it's an extremely, uh, it's like a, a preliminary introduction to introduce to the public, okay, and to introduce the lawyers. Uh, literally shows in the PCI implants that are in the head that stem from the top of the head down into the middle of the brain. Okay. Uh, Leslie Crawford is another person that you want to look up at on, on Twitter. She's got right on her Twitter account, in her account, at flat out open, in, flat out in your face open, x-ray pictures and more of uh, implants that have been taken that are still in her body. Okay. Now, stress and anxiety, what that does is that when you're experiencing stress and anxiety and when you're breathing different because you're experiencing it, okay, the brain, okay, um, emits certain frequencies as, it's, as, it, as it is processing certain brain states, like depression, anger, hate, resentment, fear, okay, emotional clusters, frequencies of, okay. It also processes specific EEG signature frequencies as a result of the re creation and reinforcement of identical abuse that is perpetrated around the target every day. Now, when you create and reinforce a identical abuse pattern, the target's going to have an identical emotional response and an identical neurological response. EEG signatures frequencies and emotional cluster frequencies. As all this stress is being formed through the creation and reinforcement of the abuse, okay, which is done daily to gang stalking victims, okay, the brain is processing certain certain thinking responses. Certain thinking responses certain emotional responses and, and EEG signatures, which are your thought patterns and your, your brain activity and your, um, your emotional responses, which are emotional clusters, which produce a frequency, they produce a frequency output if you're dealing with something that's identical. The same exact identical abuse every day is going to create the same exact response, the physiological response, the breathing, okay? The brain states that are excited and stimulated, the uh, the EEG signatures that are excited and stimulated, the emotional cluster frequencies that are excited and stimulated, not only through the abuse but also through remote neural monitoring brain stimulation. Okay, now why is this being done? It's being done to, in order to, but not limited to, create and reinforce a potentiated frequency output. So you got to make sure that it's like one neural loop, okay, that's being entrained, okay? So the frequency can be potentiated through the repetition of the abuse, and so the frequency has a huger, uh, a larger frequency output in reference to its potentiated, uh, its potentiation. And so that's one of the reasons why the abuse is created and reinforced, to keep that frequency output from the neural pathway that's created from the creation and reinforcement, okay, 
to keep that frequency output potentiated, okay, and strong. So the remote neural monitoring can constantly uh, keep attached to it, okay, and to piggyback on it in order to stimulate it, okay. They will then eventually entrain that frequency to the frequency of the implant. Because all, all implants are radio frequency implants. Absolutely, whether it be a bladder implant, whether it be a prosthetic implant, whether it be a BCI, brain to computer interface implant, whether it be an ear implant. Okay. It does not matter. Prosthetic implants, stimulated responsive implants, bladder implants, bowel implants, EMG implants, uh, brain to computer interface implants. Okay, all these implants that are intentionally and non consensually put in the target's biological or systems, which includes neurological, operate through radio signals. Okay, now every signal that is sent up through the body, that is set up through the body, no matter what initiates it, okay, it's sent up and through into the brain. The brain then processes that, that those frequencies, okay. And if you have a brain to computer interface implant in the brain, if you have cochlear implants in the ears, both ears, okay, if you have implants in your eye, if you have implants in your bladder, every single one of these implants are going to work together, okay, so the radio frequencies that are attached to them, okay, can be used to activate the implants. And the, and the frequency creation from the abuse is also uh, created, so it can be modulated to the signal that's being sent to it, okay, for brain stimulation, neurological stimulation, biological stimulation, for torture, and so on. You know, you can go to Google, you can go to YouTube, and you can type in MSNBC gang stalking Palm Springs, California. And what you're going to see is a news broadcast. There's too much noise going on around me, so this is going to be a video series. This is video one, okay? So bring that YouTube video up, and you're going to see uh, three gay men on it. One guy's name is Kevin Bond. Now, he's been all over the Internet for years exposing this technology. And he even flat out states that, that this technology runs off the bioelectrical chemical activity of the, of the body, of the body, right? I was going to say biological systems, but that's, that's true as well. Okay. And that's whenever the target is under stress and anxiety, stress and anxiety that's induced from this campaign, the implants become activated. They release radiation. They manipulate brain states, physiological uh, signals, and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video because there's too much noise going on around me right now. So just... Research what I've stated in this video so far, research what I put in the Periscope video title, and then I'm going to make another video later after this video, after the noise around me stops, if I'm still on this property. So stay tuned to this Periscope account today or tomorrow. Now, I did make a statement in my Periscope video over the week, this last weekend, that I was going to be uploading some evidence that was caught at Vons a few days ago. That probably won't happen until tomorrow. And let's see if I'm arrested, ticketed, assaulted, forced to move through any means or any of my property stolen. In the next 72 hours. Thank you for listening and stay tuned to this account. I'm going to make another video that's going to be an addendum to this one. Okay? Sorry about the noise. Sorry about the quality of this video. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but still research what I've stated and stay tuned because I will be making videos too pretty soon. Thank you.